Hello, my name is Tammy Aram and I'm the founder of Tabeka Pantry. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So oh, the rice I like to use for my jollof rice is basmati rice and not just any basmati rice but the golden seller basmati rice. Now if you prefer long grain that's okay as well you can use long grain rice or any other rice that is not so sticky because jollof rice is not great with sticky rice. Um, here goes. The rice to water ratio will depend so if you're boiling one cup of rice you need about two cups of water to boil that rice to perfection. Now Bear in mind, you don't want to get your rice too soft. You want to get it to that, just that right consistency so that you can mix it in with your jello fries cooking sauce and have the flavors in there and it will be grainy and nice just the way we like our party jello fries. As I said, you need one cup of rice to two cups of water. So we're going to start off by rinsing our rice until our rice runs clear and it's not so starchy anymore. And then we're going to put it on the fire to boil. While the rice is boiling, you need to add some salt in there, in there for some taste. So add your salt, cover your pot and wait for the rice to boil. Now, as you know, we've got three different sizes of our jello fries cooking sauce. We've got the 200 gram, the 400 gram and the 800 gram. If you're using the 200 gram, you're going to need a cup to a cup and a half of rice. If you're using our 400 gram, you're going to need about two to three cups of rice. And if you're using our 800 grams, you can use as much as four cups to six cups of rice to make jello fries. While the rice is boiling, it'll be a good time for you to heat up your jello fries cooking sauce. So pop your jello fries cooking sauce into a saucepan and bring to the boil while the rice is boiling as well. So guys, when the rice is ready, finish cooking and your jello fries has been brought to a boil. Mix the rice in with the jello fries cooking sauce. You don't need to add any water to that. To that, just put the rice into the jello fries cooking sauce. Make sure you stir it properly. Reduce the heat and then cover the pot and allow it to steam for about two to five minutes. This is so all that steam can um, infuse the jello fries, the rice and the sauce, and then you've got that really nice, um, lovely jello fries. Nice. So you don't need to do anything extra. You don't need to add any more pepper or salt. Just if you need to. So if you like more pepper, if you'd like some, some some more salt, then you can add those extra bits. And there you have it. Your jello fries is ready in 15 minutes or less. How was that, guys? Simple, quick, easy and tasty as well. Hope you come back for more. Look out for our latest videos. Mm -hmm.